Hello, good morning. It's Monday the 11th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so, the Bank of England may have to pause the current rate hike cycle in order to prevent a recession. Uh, they are committed to bringing inflation back under control, but they don't want to dip the country into recession by an overly zealous approach to tackling inflation. Uh, the good news is that inflation is still looking uh, limited to the supply uh, side, uh, with supply chain bottlenecks lingering after the pandemic. Um, so far it has not spilled over into wage inflation, or so it seems. The bad news is that most economists predict a slowdown in activity, and many fear an unprecedented fall in the standard of living. Uh, we have growth figures for February due out today. Um, it's unlikely that we'll see a repeat of the strong GDP numbers from January. Um, in the market, we touched a new low for the year. We touched 129.85 against the dollar. Uh, we recover slightly and we open around 130.15 against the, the dollar this morning. Uh, and we're about 119.50 against the euro. Um, over in the US, last week's Fed minutes confirmed that they are prepared to do pretty much anything it takes uh, in order to bring US inflation down. Um, and indeed, this has led the market to believe that a 50 basis point rate hike is almost certain at the next meeting. Um, that is likely to be coupled with a reduction in the balance sheet. Uh, where they will probably sell about $60 billion of government bonds and about $35 billion of mortgage-backed securities. Uh, that will start the process that will ultimately see them offload uh, well over a trillion dollars of assets. Uh, and that's to drain a large portion of the liquidity that was added during the pandemic recovery. The theory is that this will push up medium-term borrowing costs and help slow inflation. Um, of course, similar to the Bank of England, the Fed runs the risk of seeing activity slow, slow so much uh, that they may cause a recession. One to watch. Uh, meanwhile, the dollar index heads higher towards the 100 level. Uh, last week, we did actually cross 100 briefly. We topped out at 100.20, uh, but we closed around 99.85. And euro dollar opens this morning around 108.85. Well, that's it from me. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.